Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be looking at the things that we purchased for my five-year-old son for Christmas. You guys are new to this channel my name is Liz and this is simply homeschool the content that I share here is all about homeschooling and our journey and what we use and how I organize and all of the good stuff that comes along with homeschooling now however today is going to be a little bit different I wanted to share with you guys just to give you guys some ideas on things that we are getting for our kiddos maybe something that your kiddos would enjoy if you're looking for a whole lot of toys this video is probably not made for you my son is not really into that many toys. He plays with them, but it's not something that he's completely gravitated towards. So I've been focusing and paying attention to what I see him interested in within school. And I'm trying to get things that are fun for him that we can do during school, but he can also do in his free time, like on the weekends and stuff like that. So um, that's basically what I have here. Now also these items are not only for little boys, you can definitely get them for little girls as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. I did wanna mention I was gonna show you guys some of the stocking stuffers that I purchased for him. Again, his shopping is not completely done, but I did wanna get this video out as soon as possible. So I figured this is enough to kind of give you guys some ideas. So let's go ahead and get started. A little bit of a backstory. My nieces do school here with my sister and us. And my eighth grade niece always has experiments and my son is always the first one over there ready to see how this experiment works, right? So for one of the things that I got him so he can actually be the one doing the experiments is this Discover Surprise Kit. It's an experimental science kit for three plus. I purchased it through Amazon. You will see most of these items. I wanna say maybe all of them have um, been purchased through Amazon. It comes with a little kit here, you guys. It has a little um, pack of different experiment cards and all the supplies that we're going to need. We have balloons in here, some dye, um, this is a STEM experiment material, some little droppers and a cloth. He has all these little tubes. He has four of those. He has these little measuring cups, a funnel. Oh my gosh, he's gonna be so excited. He has his own little uh, measuring spoons here, his own little set of goggles. This is a little tube holder, so they would just sit in this in the top there and stand up. And then he has, let's see, two straws come in here. Some rainbow sugar, calcium, lactate. What else is in here? Magic sand. There's a whole lot of stuff. Citric acid, so it comes with, let's see here, eight little tubes of different um, supplies that he's going to need to do the experiments. And some of the experiments that he's going to do are making ice gems. He's going to blow the balloon up with water and it gives you all of those step-by-step -step instructions on these little cards here. So you guys, I know you guys are thinking that is not a gift. Oh yes, you guys, this is a gift that he is going to love love because he's really been watching the girls do all of their experiments and not being able to do them like on his own they let him do little things but for him to actually do the full experiment i'm really excited he's gonna love it so another thing that i picked up are two younger girls are in third and fourth grade and we are working through um kingdoms and classifications for science and so we're using the microscope and looking at things and he wants to be right there with us but he can't quite see what we're seeing so i found this little safari junior it's a kid scope for five plus it's the perfect kid microscope it includes 60 real images so it's this little microscope that has these little slides i believe that are already in there um and so he can see all these different things you guys and i'm really excited because we're going to be working through insects and oceans and stuff like that so we'll be looking at all of these things in the little slides as we go he's going to be so excited I swear you guys it's the little things like 
I see him getting more excited over that than him opening like say a train set or something. He does have a train set. He just doesn't play with it. You guys, it's crazy. Okay. So another couple things that he is interested in is playing on his Nintendo switch. Now that's very controversial with parents and things, but we all make our own choices for our own kiddos. And that's something that I do allow them to do with um, different guidelines that we have for them and rules that they have to follow. So um, we do let him play and my daughter. So I decided to get him, or we did, myself and my husband. <laughs> um, we decided to get him two Nintendo Switch games. This one is Yoshi's Crafted World. I don't know if you guys could see that. Got that one. And then we got him the Lego Ninjago movie video game. He loves all of these little um, Lego games. We have the Incredibles Lego game, Jurassic Park. I think he has like the Marvel characters or something, or Avenger. I don't remember, but something like that. And he always loves playing these, so I'm hoping he likes this one. He doesn't really care for the movie, so I don't know. We'll see. Another thing that um, my daughter is really into is baking this year. So what we did is we got like this package deal with a um, cake pop maker and a donut maker. And my daughter doesn't like donuts, but my son absolutely loves them. His um, papa, my dad, always surprises us with donuts. He'll just stop by and bring donuts. And so my son has just come to love donuts and that papa brings them. now. These aren't gonna be brought by Papa, but he gets to make them himself. So the donut maker that we got is by Brentwood. It's a mini donut maker. Yes, it's purple. He does not care. Um, so we, we are gonna give him this one and my daughter the um, cake pop maker. So they'll each have one so they could each be making something on their own. And, well, I'll be there, but each have their own little things. So I'm really excited to give this to him. He's gonna be so excited to actually make them and eat them, you guys. So this was actually purchased through Walmart. So he helps me in the morning make him waffles and he always tells me that he's a great chef. So I just thought that that was so cute and I thought that he would love to wear an apron, you guys. So I got him this really cool shark's apron. It has all different types of sharks on it. Let me show you guys up close. Um, and it's just white, has the straps that go around the back. And then we have the adjustable strap that goes over the neck here. So it goes into this and you can adjust it. So, you know, as he grows, it can grow with him. Um, but I thought that this would be fun. You know, his sister, when she bakes, she'll have an apron on and he likes to big, be like big sissy. So um, I think that this will be fun. Hopefully he enjoys it. I don't know, I just thought it was cute. So we have those for him. So another thing that the kids are totally into is slime. I know that slime has been around for a long time now, but you guys, it has not gotten old in our house. We have it in our school store, and that's something that the kids always gravitate towards. I mean, you guys, I mean, I even like playing with it. So um, I decided to get this Galaxy Slime Kit for him. It comes in this cool little tote. I love the tote, you guys. Anything that comes with the tote or a container that everything goes into so it can be clean and organized, I am all for. Uh-oh, is it taped? So inside, it has everything literally that he's going to need. He's gonna have all these little beads. They're little foam beads in different colors. It has an instruction booklet. It has all the different dyes, little um, applicator tops. So it has that. Now this is gonna get messy. I don't know how I feel about all of these, but these are all different glitters. They have really fine glitter. They have the chunkier glitter. They have um, beads in here. I'm not sure if you guys can see the beads right there. Let's see. There you go, see the beads in there? It comes with these little square cubes. They're foam, different little stirs and knives to play with. Comes with some foam here, or I'm sorry, um, clay here. And then it comes with little containers. I'm gonna put this down so I can show you guys. 
little tiny containers with lids. This I'm pretty sure that he's just gonna add something, it's borax in here. It's the mixture that he's gonna need. He has white glue. It comes with the clear glue, measuring cups, and it comes with little scissors to cut the slime. The kids love cutting through the slime. It's by Fun Kids and it's called um, Galaxy Slime Combo Kit. 65 pieces so we have that for him okay so another thing that my son loves is kinetic sand so we picked up this um the the one and only kinetic sand it's the sand is factory set so oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh so this is what it comes with in the back here it looked really cool. It had like a little video on um, Amazon that you can watch now. <laughs> My son is definitely not gonna do it how they did it. All the colors are gonna be mixed together. It's gonna be crazy. But I just thought that he would have a lot of fun with this. It has four and a half pounds of sand, different colors, and it comes with these different tools that you can see here on the back. There's like little slicing tools, like cake tools, stuff like that to build like a cake with like different colors and layers on the inside. So I'm going to start it with him, show him how to do it. And then I'll let, like we'll do it together and then I'll let him just do it how he wants to. But I did want to show him the different layers and the colors and how it works and what it does. And it just looks so relaxing, you guys. So I picked this up for him. Okay, so another thing that I picked up for him is something more along like crafting stuff. So this is by Kula Craft. It's Forest Animals Kit. Create your own for three plus. We are gonna be working through animals and I just thought that this would be a lot of fun. He loves doing crafting, he loves animals. So I thought mm, we could do this together. So it comes with all different pieces, like it comes with everything that you need to make these little animals. So it includes felt, plastic eyes, wooden beads, sticks, white glue, and the instructions. So I thought that that one would be fun. Okay, so a little story, you guys. My sister has a white watch and it's pretty big and it's like a rubber watch. And she wears it here for school and he always wants it. He always wants to tell us the time on it. He wants to wear it, so she'll let him wear it. So I decided to get him a watch. I went back and forth on a cheap watch, an expensive watch. So I found one, it's by iTech Junior. It's a kid's smart watch. So it wasn't super expensive. I think it was like $20. Um, there's fun engaging games. He could learn the time. Um, Let's see, there's like little active games. He could take pictures, he could record on it. You guys, it has little planes on it, if you guys can see. It just, he is gonna be super excited. So I got that for him. He's gonna be so excited. I just, I can see him now showing her his and her wearing hers, it's so cute. Two items left for Christmas presents. This next one is going to be this Discover in recover so there are a lot of dinosaur egg things online and we just worked through d for dinosaurs and you guys we did it for two weeks we still had things to do probably a few days even after the two weeks and he really enjoyed it he loved um, digging into his stone and getting the fossil of the T-Rex the out and building it and everything so I saw this one I knew I had to get it for him it comes with, okay, let's start with this. So it comes with the eggs. Is it just one egg? 12 eggs. Okay, so it comes with 12 different eggs that he has to dig through. And then it comes with 12 different fossils. You guys can see here, so they're fossils. And then it comes with clay. So once he digs them out, we cover them with clay. Now it's not gonna look perfect, you guys, but we literally get to cover them with the clay and make the form and shape of the dinosaur. And so here are the pieces of clay. It comes with some tools. And then it also comes with 12 different um, collector cards of the actual dinosaurs that we un 
dig, dig up, undig, that's not right, um, that we dig up. So this is what it looks like here on the back. So I thought that he would love this. You guys, this is days of fun, days and days and days of fun. Um, so I'm excited to see how he likes that. Now the last thing I have here, some of you may think it's not a great idea. <laughs> and we went back and forth about it a lot. Now my husband, he works out, we have gym equipment, he has like a punching bag, and my son always wants to do what he's doing. He tells me he's bigger boy, and that um, he wants to be a big boy like daddy, he wants to be bigger, um, he wants to lift weights. We bought him these little plastic weights that he lifts. So I saw this little punching bag and I thought that he would love it, so I got it. So it's by Lurlin, it's a kid's punching bag with boxing gloves. So as my husband is working on his punching bag or lifting his weights, Isaiah could be in there with him, punching the punching bag, you guys. <laughs> yes, I am still a little iffy about this. I'm hoping he understands that he can only punch the punching bag and nothing else. So that's something we'll definitely discuss. But that is it for all of his actual Christmas gifts. Now I'm gonna jump in and show you guys his stocking stuffers. So for his stocking stuffers, I'm still waiting on a few things, not a lot, but a couple are still coming in. Um, so the first thing that I, or the first few things, cause it came in a pack. I am going to be giving him this little poppet. This little poppet, he's going to love them, you guys. So this came in a kit. If you've seen my daughter's video, I'm giving her the Baby Yoda one. Um, and then it came with all of these other little sensory toys. My kids love sensory toys. Um, so I'm not sure how many of these I'm actually going to give him in a stocking or what I'm going to put in our um, school, like um, our school store. But like it came with this cool ball with balls inside. That is super cool. It feels kind of crazy. Um, it came with these tubes that you like pull apart and push together. It came with this one that you just kind of like play with. It's kind of like a little remote, you guys, but it has just different buttons and sounds. If you can see here, let me hold it like that. It literally looks like a little remote. It came with this, it's like a mesh and it has a little marble inside that they just like play fidget with it back and forth you know like that i don't know about this one i don't really like this one that much but it comes with this little thing that you can just kind of like move around kind of you just move it around so you can just sit and move it that's not one of my favorites but everybody likes different types of fidget type sensory toys so there's this little p one and you just push the little peas out of the pea pod, they just move out of it. That one's kind of cool. It's kind of hard to do, so it builds muscle in your fingers, I guess. Um, it just comes with a few little things. See, here's little strings. We have a lot of those. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. The only thing is, is these get dirty really easily. We've had these before, um, but they get really dirty. They're like little animal figurine type things but they're like jelly and stretchy. They're so soft. They're, these are pretty cool. They do get dirty, so you may want them to like sit at their desk or something and play with those. This kit came with four different little animals. It's kind of hard to see and I don't want to take them all out of the plastic because like I said, they're sticky. They're not really sticky. That's the wrong word, but things do stick to them like fuzz and hair and stuff like that. All right, you guys, so this one is like a little chain with beads on it. So you literally just push it around. It just goes inside and out, inside and out. So this one's kind of cool. So that's different. I haven't ever seen that one. I have never seen that one. <laughs> And then a couple of the other ones, it's actually just these, I think. So they're just these little, they look like scrunchies, you guys. How can I hold them so you guys can see them? So they look like scrunchies, um, 
but they're not. They're not scrunchies at all. Can you guys see those? Are those blurry? Um, but you could just push them on your finger and then push them off. Push them on, push them off. So if they're just sitting there, they could just play with them like this or with one finger or take it off and put it on another finger. These are actually pretty cool. Um, they don't hurt, but they feel, they're, they're kind of hard. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it, but they're not like soft or gooey. They're literally metal. They're like a type of metal, but those are pretty cool. So I have all of these. I think I'm going to split some of them up between the two kids. And then the rest of them, I'm just going to put in the, um, the prize bin out in the garage and they can purchase these if they earn money for school. So another thing that I purchased for him for his stockings is he plays on his iPad or his Nintendo Switch. And um, I always worry about, you know, the light and all that. So I picked up these really cute Minecraft um, blue light glasses from Walmart. I think they were Walmart. They may have been Amazon. Um, but they just, they're little Minecraft color green. They have the little Minecraft guy on the back there and then the Minecraft design. I don't know. They're the cube looking guy creeper or whatever his name is. But these are blue light blocking. So... We got him these, it has like a little clip on it so he can clip it to his little backpack if he's going somewhere like to his aunts or something. Um, so this will go in his stockings or his stocking. And then I picked up these little magic bouncy ball, create your own super balls. These looked really cool. Again, my son loves science things. And with this, it comes with these little molds if you see these little molds here and it comes with powder so you pour the powder into these little molds and then I think you add water and then you let them sit or you dump them in water I can't remember I think you dump them in water like sit them in water and then they form into these balls and they harden but they're bouncy balls so I thought it would be really fun for him to see it go from powder into liquid and into a solid so I thought that this one would be really fun and then he could play with them afterwards so that is going into his stocking. Um, I did pick up three different books. Now these are thrifted books. And I went back and forth about, is it okay to give gifts? Used gifts. And it is. Why isn't it? That's my thought on it, you guys. So this book is the Usborne Big Book of Big Animals. So I thought that this would be fun. Like I mentioned to you guys, he absolutely loves animals, everything about them. So this book actually opens up and it talks about all different animals. So these are big birds, dangerous animals. He'll have fun opening up the tabs because kids just love stuff like that. And the page is huge. So it just walks through different types of animals. Here's creepy crawlies. So I thought that this one would be fun and we can read it together. So that is going to be in his stocking. Another one I picked up is this On Beyond Bugs, all about insects. We are going to be learning about insects and talking about them. And that's one of his units. So I thought that this Dr. Seuss book would be really fun. I purchased this one from Half Books. And yeah, so we picked that one up. Okay, so the last book I have for him for his stocking, it's pretty heavy, you guys, but this is a National Geographic Kids Ultimate Reptile um, Opedia. So it's all about different reptiles. So I thought that this one would be really fun for him. He is not really into reptiles and stuff like that, but I thought it would be fun to have this in our school library or for him to flip through the pages, especially while we are working through the reptile unit for school. Just talks about all the different types of reptiles and what they are called and where they live and what they do um, and what they eat. So I thought that this one would be pretty cool. So that is his last book for his stocking. Now the last thing I'm gonna share with you guys, it's to split between the two kids. I don't give our kids um, any type of artificial dyes. And so it's always really tough to find things that don't have dyes in them, you guys. It's literally in everything. I'm talking like shampoos and soaps, dishwashing detergent, like it is literally in everything. So I was so excited to find these Heaven and Earth Taffy Ropes. 
So I've opened them already because I wanted to taste them to make sure that they taste tasted good. And you guys, they are so good. It tastes like real taffy. Well, it is real taffy. It just doesn't have a tie in it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is a watermelon flavor. It's literally like in a rope and it's really good. Um, I think it came with 12 to the pack. I bought this from Amazon. They actually have quite a bit of um, like a variety of things. 24 pieces so there's quite a bit in here and then I also picked up the yum earth organic pops now we've had these before we have them in the school room the kids really like this um, it comes with pomegranate pucker uh, wet face watermelon strawberry smash goofy grape very very cherry perfectly peach razzmatazz berry and mango tango now my kids do not like all those flavors but the ones that they do i will split up between them and then my nieces like the other flavors so i will give these to my sister for her to put in their stockings um but this was also purchased through amazon there's no dyes or artificial flavors anything like that in these candies so that is it you guys that is all i have to share with you guys today i hope that it helped you guys maybe decide on certain things you want to get for your kiddos or give you some ideas i will try to have all of these linked in my amazon storefront just in case you guys are interested in them um, also if you haven't already checked out my daughter's gift video make sure you guys check that out you may find something on there that you would like to get for your kiddo so that's it you guys if you haven't already subscribed please hit that subscribe button do not forget to hit that like button it helps my channel so much and yeah so leave me a comment down below let me know if there's anything in here that you got for your kiddo this year or that you think you will get for your kid so that's it you guys be safe be blessed and i hope to see you guys very soon bye guys What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars, 